Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Hulu Theater inside the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. This is boxing. This is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame boxing promoter, Mr. Bob Barham, sitting right down here. Bob, great to have you in the building, as always. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone tuning in. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody here inside the building. Anybody have a green beer yet? Show of hands. Yes, a couple. I see it. Good. This all goes down Saturday, March 19th. We're going to begin the broadcast at 7.15 p.m. Eastern on ESPN+. And then we move over to the network at 10 o'clock Eastern, ESPN. An exciting, exciting card. A bunch of great young fighters on the card. The three fights that will be featured on ESPN are joining me now on stage. John Bauza versus Tony Lewis, Xander Zayas, Quincy Lavalet, Edgar Berlanga, and Steve Rolls. They're all with us right now. It's going to be an exciting night inside the Hulu Theater at the Garden. Gentlemen, how are we feeling? Everybody good? Thank you for taking time. I know it's fight week and you're all busy, but this is part of the game, part of the process, and it's, uh, it's an exciting opportunity. We're here in New York City, St. Patrick's Day weekend, fighting at the Hulu Theater in the Garden. John, I'm going to start with you. Um, a week ago, this fight was elevated to the main card on ESPN. How excited are you for this opportunity? Bueno, primeramente quiero dar las gracias a Dios y a Top Run por este, como él dijo, que me pusieron en SPN. No sabía que me iban a poner, so estoy bien alegre y contento de que voy a estar ahí en esa cartelera. First of all, thank to God and Top Run for the opportunity. Uh, I wanna, I, I wasn't aware that I was, I was gonna be in the ESPN portion of the broadcast, but I'm very happy about that. Guardi off, off camera here translating. Thank you, Guardi. Tony, coming down to you. Last time we saw you was the bubble, August 2020. Uh, huge battle against Barbosa. It's been a minute. Uh, we going to see some ring rust? What's going on? It's been a minute since you've been in the ring. Here we are back at the garden. No, I, I, I've stayed in shape and I, I stayed active. And we had, a, we had a couple near misses last year on getting some fights materialized and then just COVID stuff kind of uh, s sabotaged them. It was outside of my control. But I stayed in the gym, I stayed active, and I've been sparring. Uh, so I feel good and uh, my body's healthy now too. You've always been in shape. That's uh, something that we've, we've tracked with your career. How excited are you here to be at Madison Square Garden inside Hulu Theater on a Saturday night? It's, it's an honor. It, it, it's an honor. We've come closer in my career to, to, to doing it and other things fell through, but now we're finally here and uh, it's nice. John, coming back to John, your last two fights, massive knockouts. Edwards Williams, explosive knockouts. And we were accustomed to seeing you go the distance and, and win decisions. Is this something new? And can we expect more of this? What's changed in your training? Bueno, al principio yo me he dedicado a ser boxeador. Me gustó siempre usar el estilo de boxeo, darle que no te den. Y como me estaban criticando mucho de que no pegaba, de que era aburrido, pues decidí demostrar que también puedo pegar y también puedo noquear. So, vamos a ver qué pasa en esta pelea. Vamos a, a ganar, que es lo primordial. At the beginning of my career, I started like uh, using more of my boxing skills, you know, like hit and don't get hit. But uh, I, w I was getting criticized that I was a uh, boring fighter, that I had no power. So that's why for these last two fights, I have stepped up and, you know, put the pressure on my fighters. So let's see what happens on this fight. Tony, one last question for you coming back. You've, you've previously uh, beaten undefeated fighters three times in your career. Is this something that you look forward to? It motivates you? You see that zero on the record, and it gives you a little extra juice in the gym before you get to Saturday night? Well, I definitely rise up to the level of opponent in front of me. Uh, I know the odds are stacked against me, and, and uh, you know, politically, me winning doesn't fit the agenda. I know that. So uh, this, that just fuels me, and um, I'm training to be at my best, and I'm expecting him to be at his best also. It's going to be a tough fight. It's going to be a great fight. Uh, and one last question for John as well. You're sitting beside... Zayas and Berlanga here. What's that mean to you? It's a Puerto Rican trio here on stage, Saturday night in the garden, and they're all nodding in agreement. And we'll get to you guys as well, but it's got to feel special uh, for yourself and for your country. Es un orgullo estar al lado de tres también dos futuras estrellas como yo y demostrar que Puerto Rico todavía sigue vivo en el deporte. I'm very proud of being next to like two up and coming future stars like myself. Uh, and I'm here to show that Puerto Rico has a lot to offer in boxing. Thank you. Thanks for being here, brother. Xander, right next to you, 2021, many had you as prospect of the year, an incredible year for you in the ring. 
Here we get to start your 2022 journey. Big smile on your face. It's contagious, brother. How excited are you to get the year going? Man, I'm super excited. First fight of the year. Eight rounders. Great opponent. Um, that's what we was looking for. And I'm ready to put on a show Saturday night. Yeah, you said great opponent. Quincy, coming to you, man. The last time we saw you were in the bubble, uh, you, uh, you upset Clay Collard and you broke Evan Korn's heart. We're just going to leave it at that. You know, uh, Evan was so distraught when you beat Clay Collard that uh, you became his new favorite fighter quickly. Uh, what makes you think that you can come in here at the Garden and, and score an even bigger upset? Um, I feel like my experience will take, take good toll on this and um, just, I don't know, like I, feel like I don't feel like he's fully developed to be a 154-pounder. Um, I feel like he's a good fighter, but... I'm going to take him to that to the different level like to show him that he it's a different ball game this way. Yeah, it is a different ball game. Xander, you're going 8 rounds. Uh have you watched Table Quincy and do you feel that this is probably the biggest challenge of your career so far? Well, it's one of it's, it's a good fight. Um I wouldn't say the biggest challenge. Um the biggest challenge is yet to come just, you know, just another stepping stone and um I got to put on a show, put on a statement and show the world that I'm here to stay. Quincy, you fought opponents in their hometowns, Nicaragua, you've traveled to Mexico, and now you're fighting an all, on an, almost an all-Puerto Rican card here in New York City. Do you enjoy being that road warrior? Do you get the, that extra juice going? Same, same you know, deal like I asked Tony. Same thing for you. Yeah, I enjoy it. Like, it's, it, it, it makes me feel good that I can go to somebody's hometown, beat them, take a couple of fans, then go back home and do it again, just keep them along. Doing it and doing it and doing it over and over again. Awesome. We're excited to have you here with us. Xander, one last one for you. You know, you, you've been getting a lot of attention lately, uh, traveling all over the place. You're getting clothing, sponsors, things like that. People starting to take notice of your career. How, how do you stay grounded to make sure that you, you keep your eye on the prize? It'll start with the team, with the family. You know, I have a great team, great family. Um, I know what I'm here to do. I know what, I, what are my dreams. And I just have to stay focused, keep winning, and keep moving forward. That's what keeps me really grounded. It's going to be an exciting Saturday night. All right, let's get to the main event. They're sitting right beside me. Edgar Berlanga, Steve Rolls, thank you, gentlemen, for being here. Edgar, we're at the Garden. It's your night. How are you feeling? I'm feeling amazing. You know, um, I just want to thank Top Rank, ESPN, you know, for finally making it happen here back home. You know, it's a blessing, man, and I'm looking forward to uh, Saturday. Steve, same question for you, man. Saturday night, New York City, big St. Patrick's Day weekend. How are you feeling? Excited? Uh, yeah, I'm very excited. It feels uh, great to be back at the Garden. Um, but first off, I would like to thank God. I would like to thank the Bell Entertainment, Top Rank, ESPN, and um, everybody involved in this event. Steve, I want to ask you, Berlanga and his camp, they chose you. Yeah. You know, how does that make you feel? Do you feel like you're being underestimated a little bit? No, I think... Um, you know, he wants to step up, uh, get closer to a world title shot. He wants, to, he wants a challenge, and that's why they chose me. I'm sure he could have took an easier route, but um, credit to him for, for picking um, an opponent of my, ca my caliber. Absolutely. You were criticized a little bit last time after your last outing. You were dropped. What changed in the training, in the mindset, uh, that we're going to see possibly new in the ring Saturday night? Um, you know, like I tell everybody, adversity. You know, um, my last fight, I tore my bicep in the third round, broke the guys, I audible bone in three places, would have stopped the fight in the tenth, got dropped in the ninth. You know, so for me, I just needed that for my career. You know, I needed that um, that adversity. You know, every fighter goes through that in their, in, their, in their career. You know, especially me being this young, I knew I was gonna come out of out, out, out that adversity because having a torn bicep in the third round, fighting seven rounds like that, um, you know, a lot of fighters would have quit because the pain is just ridiculous. But, uh, you know, I took it how it came. We got the victory. I won the, uh, the WBO and NBO title. And, um, you know, we moved uh, to, to Vegas. And, uh, you know, now we, uh, we're here ready for, for Saturday. Steve, you mentioned uh, it's great to be back in the garden when I welcomed you earlier. And, yeah, you were yeah. here, Triple G, yeah. in the big room. Yeah. Obviously not the outcome you wanted. No. But what did you take away from that experience that you're going to bring into, the, into this fight Saturday? Well, well, that's just what it is, is experience. You know, I still got uh, big goals that I have that I need to accomplish. 
And um, that's all that fight was. It, it wasn't a fight where I was getting blown out or it wasn't competitive. Um, I made a mistake. He has experience. And I think that's going to serve me well on Saturday night. What drives you, keeps you going in, in this journey, uh, bringing you back into the ring fight after fight? Um, like I said, I have goals. I want to put a world title around my waist. So we both have pressure on us. He's not the only one with pressure. We, you know what I mean? This, this is a, a, a very, um, this is a fight that we both need. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm training. My training camps went well. I'm strong. I feel like I'm, I'm, like a lot of people say this, but I'm really in the best shape of my life right now. So that's what drives me, man. I, uh, when I set out to do this, I set out to put a world title on my, around my waist, and, and it's the same thing. That's what keeps me moving forward. Edgar, his only defeat was against Triple G. You are currently undefeated. Uh, are you looking for a knockout here? Because this clearly will be a tough test for you Saturday night. It's going to be an exciting time in the garden. What can we expect from you Saturday night? Um, you know, I don't like to predict none, but, you know, he's a, he's a tough veteran. You know, um, he went in there with the best. Um, and for me, man, it's like, uh, you know, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to just putting on a show, you know, ready to blow off the roof off this, this place, man. Like, for real, you know, I'm, I'm just ready to explode and, uh, you know, fireworks like always. Before we wrap it up, I want to, I want to just give everybody an opportunity to, uh, address your family and friends tuning in because this is an incredible opportunity. We're here in the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, and this doesn't happen often. And I know you guys are incredibly proud to have three Puerto Rican fighters on the main card on ESPN. And I know you guys are as well, incredibly proud and honored to be here. So Tony, down there at the end, fellow Canadian, say hello to your, your family and friends back there and let's, let's wrap this up. But two seconds to say what you want to say. Just uh, all my love for everybody back home that's going to be tuning in. I know I know I have a lot of support back home, and uh, I'm going to make you guys proud. I'm not going to let you down. Quincy? Um, just want to say thanks, everybody, for coming out. Um, sending my love to New Orleans. We're coming back with a W, and we're going to do it. Another one over here, Steve. Yeah, I just want to uh, give a shout-out to uh, all my family and friends back in Canada, all my fans around the world that are tuning in, um, everybody in New York. Um, it's going to be a great night. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I'll see you soon. John. Todo mi gente de Puerto Rico, tienen que ver esta cartelera que está llena de puertorriqueños, y vamos a darle duro. Xander. And to everybody, there's not much to say. Tune in Saturday night ESPN. We're putting on a show. <laughs> Edgar. Listen, you know, I'm the main event, king of New York. You know, um, I just want to thank, you know, my family, um, my team, Team Berlanga, my manager, Keith Conley, top rank Bob Arum, the whole top rank crew for, uh, for making this happen. You know, um, get your tickets. You know, tickets are still selling. Let's sell this place out, man. You know, we're looking forward to selling it out, making history once again. And, uh, yeah, it keeps dropping. But I uh, thank you, everybody. Just tune in this Saturday, man. It's going to be fireworks. Like he said, Saturday, March 19th, here inside uh, Madison Square Garden, the Hulu Theater. You do not want to miss it. The undercard begins at 7.15 Eastern on ESPN+. Plus. And then these three bouts, we move over to the network ESPN at 10 o'clock Eastern. What's going to happen now is we are going to do some face-offs. Tony Luth, John Bowser. Xander Zayas. Hey man, watch out. Watch out. Down, 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 down. Down. Watch out, man. It all goes down Saturday, March 19th, inside the Hulu Theater at the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. As always, this is boxing, this is top rank. We'll see you tomorrow for the weigh in.
Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.